Holy shit. Hey there, I'm Steve. Welcome back to another edition of Ruck Rehab. Uh, I got a great video for you today, uh, but before I get there, let me get this out of the way. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and check out Instagram uh, page, Ruck Rehab on Instagram, and give us a follow there. All right, I'd love to try to bring you new stuff. Um, you know, in life, sometimes I'll it's hard to work that out, but uh, I was uh, very, very fortunate. Uh, awesome dude named Josh reached out to me and offered me something uh, that I couldn't resist. Uh, if you went down to Sandlot Jacks for the big festival, um, they had a lot of sales on special items like prototypes and stuff. And Josh reached out to me. Uh, he said that he had one extra one that, you know, if I wanted to pick it up from him, I could. So I jumped on the chance, quick PayPal back and forth, and there it is. This is a beautiful 15 liter Rucker, okay? Uh, you know, it's one of the, whatever you want, the prototypes that they were selling over there. I have always wanted to build a rook out of a 15 or 10 liter bullet for events because I just think like the size advantage would be awesome. Rule number one, be cool. Nobody's going to be rocking that thing out there. And it's just, you know, yeah, just something you don't see. The main problem is that I tend to be a slight overpacker. You know, I bring, I don't bring just one pair of gloves, I bring two pairs. I don't bring just this, I bring extra bladder mouthpieces, all kinds of extra crap that I really don't need. So I thought that if I could get a smaller event bag set up, I can get away from all that crap. So we're gonna give it a shot. And we're gonna try this baby here. Now I still have the Tiger Stripe GR1. That's still probably going to be my main bag, and uh, for now, we're going to go over some of the points of this baby and where I see the future for this bag. So let's dive into it here. So, Rucker 4.0 style, right? No front pocket. It's gone. Reflective strip across the front. Got the standard Molly patch panel main compartment zipper. Where this differs from the other Ruckers. Um, no side handles. It does have a bottom handle and two drain holes. Uh, you know, strap molly, standard. It's got the nice padded back lumbar support with that stiffer frame sheet that they started putting in the, the newer ones. So, that I like, all right? Uh, I mean, it's, Aside from the handles, this thing is basically the same as a, a 20 liter 4.0, but a little different here, and we'll get to the other difference on the inside. Okay, we've got your two standard, now Velcro. I haven't even opened them yet, they're so Pouches. Pockets, whatever I call them. Here's where the main differences are from the Rucker 4.0, you know, I have the 20 liter, uh, and then this 15 liter plate pocket. Now, if you'll notice, and I want to flip this thing a little bit inside out, just for you to get a better view. Oh, man. Okay. This plate pocket, from the top to the bottom, um, I, I didn't, I don't have any info on this really, except for uh, what Josh told me. 
he told me that this will do a 20 pound, a 30 pound, or a 45 pound plate, which is beautiful, beautiful. Um, pocket opens up, it goes all the way down to the bottom. And you'll see there's a little space between the bottom of the rock and the rock plate pocket. Also, and this is the pocket here, you'll notice on the sides of this, those D-rings that are in the Rucker Funk Point o are not in this ruck. Um, this is a there we go, 15 liter, built in Vietnam. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, just quality control pass. And that's about it. Here's, now I haven't, it's been a hectic uh, week here. So I wanted to get this out today, but it is now about, I don't know, 1.30 in the morning. It's raining. I'm trying to not wake up some dogs that were watching. So we're going to probably just try to, try to ruck this tomorrow. Um, I like to try to get these out before I make these videos or at least attach part of it. So depending, you know, I might get up, get this thing out, add in some quick reviews and then put the video out. So we'll see what tomorrow holds. Um, here are my initial thoughts. Okay. I threw a 30 pound plate in it. It does go all the way to the bottom. I mean, the, the purpose of the plate pocket and it is to keep it nice and high, right? Tight to your back, nice and high. This falls all the way down. I mean, I, I don't know what the exact measurement is, but basically it has like three inches of slop at the front, which then in turn, if you're bear crawling or whatnot, it would stay in the pocket, which does have that nice extra padding on top, but it'll, it'll slosh around in there. Uh, my thoughts for that is get a, you know, everybody uses pool noodles, whatever. Get a, a piece of solid foam, much like the one that's built in here, to fill in that gap. Uh, something that's removable. I don't own a 45 pound plate, but I would like to pick one up and It'd be nice to be able to throw that in here for some training, swap it out, put that spacer in there and put the 30 pound plate in for events and call it a day. Um, so that's one thing. I would probably send this in the scars also uh, just for some mods and basically just to make it equal to the 4.0 20 liter, okay? I'd add in the D-rings on the sides, because why not? You know, they say something's coming on the horizon for those, so why not be ready? Uh, I'd also send it in while it's there, and uh, I'd get side handles put on. Oh, and I forgot to mention this. There's no side molly, okay? So I would have to, I'd add the three rows of molly, the handles on both sides and the D-rings inside. Um, you know, that being said, it all costs money, right? So uh, if you're on any of the Facebook groups with me, you might be seeing some uh, different bags coming up for sale just to fund this project because I think this is going to be sweet. Um, trying it on, I mean, the size was perfect. Uh, like I said, I, I've been toying with building a 10 liter bullet rook event pack. Um, this, I mean, it's hard to do better something that they're doing better, right? Um, Cause you, you, I, I can't sew. I bought a sewing machine, but I haven't even began to get there yet. Uh, but the extra padding on the back, you can't do. The internal frame sheet, you can't do. You can add that kind of stuff on the inside, but this is definitely going to be a keeper for me. Um, and it'll help me from overpacking, hopefully. Oh, what the hell that was. Uh, anyway, we're going to get this out tomorrow. Give it a ruck. I'll probably add it in real quick at the end of the video, like a quick review of that. 
and shoot this thing out. Uh, if you guys have any questions about this, feel free to post it in the comments below. Uh, for a minute, my uh, notifications for comments and stuff was shut off. I don't know why. I must have bumped it or something. I don't know. But I make sure that's back on so I can answer anything you got. If you need anything about this bag that I can answer, feel free to ask me. So hopefully after this shot, uh, you'll get that quick review tomorrow. Otherwise, we'll just push this baby out and uh, we'll ruck it. Uh, stay tuned because I was laying around yesterday thinking about, you know, what other videos could I make because I wasn't really planning on buying another bag just because, just because, you know, I've got, I don't even know how many, 15-ish maybe? I don't know. We'll see. Um, but I should probably get rid of some, but I'd like to do, you know, some videos on how I have my bag currently set up for events. Uh, you know, maybe just go through what bags I have, you know, see so people can get an idea of what's out there and, you know, uh, yeah. Oh, and I, I definitely wanted to do like a rucking setup for training or event video. Uh, I sent my buddy out, my Rucker 3.0, and He's like, all right, what do I got to do to get this going? You know, I think I sent a sternum strap on it and out it went. So we talked a little bit about plates today and we'll get more in depth with all the, all the wonderful accessories you can get. So we'll try to make a video on that. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Okay. So I had a little time today, got this baby out for just quick rook of 30 pound plate. Um, as I predicted that extra room in the plate pocket uh it allows that plate to slop up and down you know when i tighten down my straps uh you could feel it bounce up and then i tried giving it a few bear crawls and you can feel it slide to the top of the pocket still doesn't hit you in the head because it's got that extra padding on the top but you can feel that rush and then when you stand up it rushes back to the bottom so we'll definitely come up with a, a solution for that um other than that, I, I think it did great. Um, I compared it to the 20 liter Rucker 4.0 that I have uh, because, I don't know, it, the tags had BR, so I was like, oh, bullet ruck, but it's a 15 liter Rucker. And those are usually, I believe the 20 liter is 18 inch height and the bullet, the 15 liter bullet is an 18 and a half inch height. But I took a little, picture of the measurements here. And you can see it, they're basically the same height. Uh, they felt the same, felt good. You know, that lumbar support was hitting me right where I needed it, one too low, and it felt nice. You know, I, I started off with, it's a little cooler out today, so a sweatshirt and a jacket which is more than I like wearing so I ditched that gave it another try with just a t-shirt felt really good that's how I like to wear it them anyway um, felt the exact same as the 20 liter so I'm happy with that uh, I think we got to get this baby out the scars for some mods and make some tough decisions you know uh, I love that tiger stripe gr1 as an event pack that 20 liter rucker 4.0 is nice I mean, tropical walls I can. Beautiful. Yes, it's just plain black, but hell, man, this thing is sweet. And I would really love to get this thing put through its paces uh, the best I can. You know, I've got a, a rucking event coming up in about a month or so. I don't think that's enough time to get this out to scars and back, unless I, like, hustled on it today. But I'm trying to maybe, I try to be responsible and save up the money to make the mods. You know, do things the way you should do them, right? So you're not have a bunch of debt. So, uh, but I've also got uh, a tough and a basic in October. And I would love to have this be my event bag for those events. We'll see how it goes. I really, you know, I didn't even put a sternum strap on this today. I would love to give this a full event loadout and try that out. Um, you know, not necessarily crawling around with it because if I'm going to send it into scars, I don't want to have to wash it because it's nice and clean already. 
but we'll load it completely, give that a test and uh, see how it is. Maybe we'll do a 15 liter, a 20 liter and the GR1 video just to kind of compare them all, have them all in the same day, just hit my same two mile loop that you know I've got down pat and see how each one does. So hey, thanks for watching. Any questions again, leave it in the comments. Thanks.